What's up, it's Bonfire, and I'm giving you guys the long awaited control settings video. Y'all been hitting me up on Xbox, TikTok. One of you fuckers even called my grandma. So I'm giving you guys what you want. Here's the anti zim bot repellent control settings that are going to completely change the way you play Siege. But don't forget to hit that like and sub button down below to lock and champ this season. Let's get it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, guys. A lot of this shit in general is very useless. I wouldn't even worry about it. But I will go through it real quick so you can kind of get an idea. Ping is your yellow pings. You want to have that on. I don't know why you'd ever turn that off. It's such it's a pinnacle part of Siege and really any other game um, that has it. So I would leave that on. The metrics is kind of optional. I have it on so I can see my FPS and my ping. I don't really look at the FPS too much, but it just occasionally I might glance at it, see what it's popping at. Um, but ping is usually I can tell if I'm getting hit. So I'm gonna open up the whole scoreboard to see it. I can just check it in the bottom left. Because a lot of times it'd be a little fishy. I have pretty good internet, but if my shit hit a thousand, two thousand, it's either an Usopp issue or someone in the game is not liking that they're getting their ass fried. You know what I mean? So I like to have that on. Connectivity feedback, I have the icons, it's just so I know what's going on. If something does happen, like packet loss, that, this, that, and the third. It just gives me an idea of what's going on if something happens. Cyclone side camera groups is basically when there's different kind of cameras, which are always be like drones or default cams or Valkyries or Echoes. Basically, you can either scroll through the group and then get put back at the beginning of that and just keep scrolling within that same type of camera. Or you can have it off like I do, so I can just keep going and flowing through all of the cameras at once and check them all by just hitting RB continuously. The fuser pickup, I like this one on both because I noticed that with the automatic shit, it is cool, but a lot of times you're not you're not able to just stand over top of the fuser and get it. Like if someone's holding it, but if you can get around the corner and get your foot, you know, like a little bit close to it, you can usually get a little diffuser prompt and pick that bitch up and run away. Like you don't even gotta swing it and get it up. Diffuser pickup. With an automatic change, I noticed that a lot of times you have to be like damn near directly over it for it to pick up. So I like to have it on both so I get the option to really get like real close to it, hit the X button, and get the hell out of there. Drum with the prep. If you don't have manual, you're pretty much a bot. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the, the, you gotta have this shit on manual. Basically, it keeps you in the drone even after the prep phase is over, which is so important because your drone economy matters way more than you think, even in the TDM meta. Match replay doesn't really matter. I have mine on just so I can check shit out if I want to, or get a, a cool thumbnail or a video with it. Co Crossplay matchmaking. If you turn this shit off in your Xbox, you're just asking to play against the enemy the whole time. The only people who have this shit on is them, bro. I promise you, I've done it. I've done it a couple of times. I'm like, oh, these PlayStation niggas are so bad. I'm tired of my teammates being trash, bro. Just, 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 just trust me. Trust me. Keep that bitch on. If you take it off, it's gonna be the worst thing. Over to the HUD section, and this section, honestly, I have to change it every single time because I change my shit to cinematic when I'm going to take thumbnails. So, that being said, it might be a little wonky right now, but primarily I have to turn it off because I have never in the history of this compass thing being in the game have ever made a direct call out. I've never told my guy, hey, we have a cap can northeast. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. So, that shit's turned the fuck off because you don't need it. Um, ping location helper, always a good thing to have on just in case you don't know the call out of a certain place, especially when you're learning a new map, like some of the newer maps. I know a lot of you I haven't really figured out yet, like Emerald Lane. Night Haven, the ones everyone complains about basically. Um, it's a good thing to have on because it just teaches you where you're at and uh, where your pings are at. Uh, equipment, most of that's on. Yep, yeah, all of that's on. Player status, majority of this is on except for stance indicator. If you can't tell whether you're standing, laying down, or crouch dog, try for it. I ain't gonna lie. That should be something that you just you just don't need a little floaty guy in the bottom of your screen telling you what you're doing. That's pretty obvious. Action minor, I have icons only because I don't need to know the buttons anymore, but if you still are learning the game, keep that shit on whatever it's on or on default yeah i wouldn't really mess with this shit around until you get better at the game um a lot of this shit's also just gonna be on the majority of this shit you kind of need or it's just good to have it so it's not a guessing game you are streamlined you make your gameplay to where everything just kind of tells you what's going on the easier it is there's no reason you should have to look up and see or figure out if it's a 2v something or a 1v something audio doesn't really matter none of this stuff matters honestly except for i turn your music down because one of the music is trash it is atrocious. No one wants to listen to that shit. Um, but night mode. Have your shot on night mode. Some people say hi-fi. Don't have it on TV. Hi-fi, I mean, if you want to do that, rock out. It's honestly way worse, though. I might, it might determine what kind of headset equipment you got. But night mode is always the best. TV is god-awful. Don't ever play. Don't ever run that shit on TV. Even if you're using a TV, don't do that shit. Voice chat, um, it's kind of optional. I'm never in voice chat, so I think this shit is unchanged from when I first played this game, to be honest. Um, I roll over to the display section, turn VSync off. If you have good internet, turn this shit off. If your screen starts tearing and messing up as soon as you turn the shit off, turn it back on. But for the most part, keep this shit off and put it on prioritized performance. This is gonna up your frames per second. Frames in this game matters more than any other game you've ever played. Like, when people can just kill you in one bullet and they're holding a pixel, you need to be able to react in, in somewhat good time. You really see these things. People are swinging you, you see a lot more of the animation. Instead of them doing this, 
they're bending their knees and you're seeing them very like articulate and like really move their body you want that that gives you more time to react you don't want to see someone go into a, from a walking animation to a standing animation to a, a deaf screen you don't want that shit so keep that shit on um field of view honestly in my opinion 84 is the best people like nfx use 60 somehow i don't know that he's a dog bro i don't understand how he does it but 84 is usually a good middle ground if you have it maxed out I mean, it might look cool, but it's not helping you. It's not doing you any favor. You're seeing too much, and your depth of field is way too deep. Some people who are like, say I'm sitting on Pillar in Oregon, and they're on Blue Barrels, their head looks so much smaller than it would if it was on 84. Because 84 is about as about much you need to see. It gives you kind of wraparound, almost a almost a one, a one a complete 180 view. Um, it's not too far where you're, just, you're seeing damn near both sides of the fucking map at once. You know what I mean? So that's when it becomes a problem. Brightness that 75, 72, 72. It was a 75. I think I bumped it down a little bit. Um, controls. This is where this is probably which I've been wanting to see. Vibration. Turn that shit off. There's no reason to have that shit on in a competitive game. That's for single player games only. Never, no matter what competitive game you play, to never have that shit on. It's not helping you at all. Gadget deployment. Advanced. You always want to have it on advanced. Advanced means that you can throw it out and it won't make you go into the animation. Like throwing your drone out. When you throw your drone out, you can do things like drone baiting. When you throw that bitch and you, they come swinging, you have your gun up. You're not sitting there playing Clash of Clans like an idiot. You know what I mean? You don't want that problem. Drone deployment, same shit. These two are the same thing. It means the same thing. Keep it like this. Practice, disabled. Um, there's no reason to have aim assist. If you have aim assist on in practice, you're goofy. It's not doing you any favors. It's actually hurting you because when you go into a normal game, there's no aim assist. Control layout, my shit set to the default because honestly, there's no reason for me to change it. I have paddles also for the best results for the sensitivity. You want to have control freaks if possible. They're like $5 at GameStop or Walmart. Very inexpensive. And paddles. If you can get paddles, I promise you it's going to elevate your gameplay by a mile. I will not touch this game if I'm playing on a regular controller without paddles. I play like a plat and a gold. I just can't move. Your movement is so trash and leaning and everything else feels wonky when you have to take your finger off the stick to crouch. It's awful. Look inversion. Don't do this shit. You're not flying an airplane. You're controlling a guy with a gun. You don't want this shit inverted. Like controller rotation. I made this shit a long time ago and y'all was on my ass for having it updated. And then low key, I was thinking y'all was shipping. I switched my shit and immediately, I mean immediately got way better. Yo, classic is the move. Do not mess with updated. It's going to mess you up more than it's going to help you. Vertical sense is at 30. I just bumped it up. It was at 21. Um, for those of you that I talked to personally, I bumped it up. It's at 30 now. I bumped it up 10 cents. We're, we're, move, we're working our way up. Um, but honestly, it just it's kind of it's just it feels it feels really good. I usually even have that at 30 or 40. Kind of depends on the day. If I'm having problems looking up fast enough, I put up to 40. The majority of the time, it sits at a cool little 30. Horizontal is at 100. Mind you, these are not your ADS sense. These are not the sensitivities you're going to feel when you're aimed in. Keep this in mind. So dead zone, I have one and one on both. It just, if you put it at zero, your guy's gonna have stick drift, like where it looks like stick drift, but it's not stick drift. It's just your controller can't handle that. Um, I don't think any controller really can. There's always be a slight little movement to the left or right, I've noticed. Um, even other creators that I've hit up said the same thing. So I really wouldn't worry about it. Controller ADS sense. 19 for 1.0, 1 1.5 is 28. Everything else is 50, everything else is 50. If you have that big of a scope and you're zoomed in that much, you need as much speed as possible. But I promise you when you're counting their freckles, you wanna keep it aligned on the freckles. You know what I'm saying? It's just too zoomed in. I rarely use 2.0 scope and higher. That's mostly why it's on 50. But for the most part, when I'm playing at that, I don't really feel like it's too fast or anything. It feels just right. Aim, hold. Why would you ever have it set to toggle? You'd be stuck in your aim and it'd be horrible. It just makes no sense. It just, what, why would you do that to yourself? Advanced control settings enabled. Here are my acceleration. These are the bread. These are the creme de la creme of my of my sensitivity. I'm not. I'm gonna be real honest. A lot of people don't understand these settings. I'm gonna tell you what they mean. Um, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Horizontal. I'm at a hundred sensitivity, and it still feels too slow. So what this does is it speeds it up a lot more, and it's going past a hundred sensitivity with the acceleration for adjustment. It's very nice for me right now, and it's been cooking. It's been cooking, especially with the aim assist vibe that we have going on. ADS is very similar. It's at 20 and 10. I don't want my ADS sense to be too high, but I want to be able to keep up with my overall horizontal and vertical look acceleration. You know what I mean? I, everything is about keeping it all cohesive. If one setting is off, it fucks up all your other settings, in my opinion. A people will say not, it don't really matter, but it really does, to be honest. Um, the rest of these, they don't really, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't do what I need them to do. I don't want to delay. I want my sensitivity to be faster. I don't want to ramp up time. 
because it feels like a lot of the times it takes way too long to get to that speed that I need. And so until I figure out something, it's gonna be set to zero. All of these are also set to zero because just I don't need any of these on. They're just making the game harder than it needs to be for me. And personally, it doesn't fit my play style. But that's everything under control. Accessibility. This might not seem like a lot, but we're really gonna talk about these top, these top four. Um, everything else is just it's kind of optional. This is optional. Whatever color you want to have is optional. Which, bro, Usopp, add some more fucking colors. Let me. I want. I want to go beat. Going. I want purple versus green, bro. I want some crazy shit, bro. Like, give me some more colors. But screen sharing intensity. Turn this motherfucker off, bro. There is no reason you should have this shit on. If you have this shit on, you're setting yourself up for failure. Because when PS1 blows up this shit and it's in you're in the way, it's gonna fuck your screen up. And that screen gonna be perfectly fine, and they're gonna lace you. That's probably the reason why a lot of you guys are dying, especially you newer players. Optic color. Your optic color should be nothing more than green, red, and purple. Those are the only colors you should ever have. And red is kind of debatable. I feel like red's pretty fucking trash. It's so fucking trash. It's just, it blends in with so much other shit, and there's so many. Red is such a common color, and you have things like brown, orange, things like bricks and shit like that. It blends in with shit like that. Purple. Nothing is blending in with purple. Purple is gonna have you right. Same with green. Almost nothing is gonna blend in. When you peek outside, when you peek inside, it don't matter. It's not gonna blend in. Blue is gonna blend in with the sky. It's gonna fuck you up. Yellow, orange, same shit. I tried those ones too. White is these, but it also messes up outside. And black is also bad if the map is darker. Playing shit like Nighthaven Labs where like the lighting is kind of eh. You know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of metal going on. A lot of shit like that. The color. I used to have it lower, but honestly, like I said, the blending in problem was a big problem for me. So I put it all the way to 100. I didn't really like um having it a little lower anymore. But I used to have it at 75, which I think is a pretty good um, opacity if you want to rock that. But that should be everything for the settings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you drop a like and sub, lock in chant this season and help your boy out. Really help the channel and get this video pushed out to other people who also could use these settings. I hope you guys appreciated this video. I'll be seeing you guys.